are we zoomed in? I think maybe we're. Why do I look like we so close? There's no way we're not zoomed in. Oh, we're not zoomed in. Hey guys, you guys look a little close to my face, but it's fine. Um, today's Monday, so let me just catch you guys up on my day because I just feel like it's always something going on. Very much something. So, you guys know, it was swim class day today. Swim class day, today's Monday. Y'all look like y'all real close to my face. But, whatevs. Um, today's Monday, so yeah, we were going to swim class. We had left out, and just... One, naturally had an attitude because I didn't eat nothing, but, like, that was fine. Like, I'm used to that type of attitude, you know? Like, I wasn't, like, having a fit or anything. No, seriously, y'all look like y'all real close to my face, but y'all not. Whatever. Um, get in the car, pack the kids up, we're driving. Literally, literally, haven't even been in the car in 10 minutes, okay? Didn't even make it to New Jersey yet. I'm driving straight. I make a right, you know, two turning lanes, right? I'm, I, oh, I want to draw this so bad for you guys. Two turning lanes, right? I'm in the outside lane. The car in the inside lane decides that they all of, all of a sudden want to go straight, even though we're in a turning lane. Like, it's not a lane where you could pick which one you want to go. No, you have to turn. They decide they wanted to go straight. I pressed my horn because, like, we almost crashed. They kept on going, okay, cool, whatever. I was like, people can't drive. I don't know if it's full moon today. Yada, yada, yada. Kept going by my business. Boom, driving straight, driving straight. There's a truck next to me. The truck decides to just merge into my lane. Like, just crush me. Like, he just, guess he didn't see me, right? Beeped the horn, sped up, went around him. Okay, cool, whatever. Boom, do, 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 driving in my lane. Another car just decides to just, like, come out of nowhere. And just, I was like... It's not meant for me to be outside today. Like, here's the thing. People make mess people make mistakes when they drive. I was like, I know I see the line. I knew I wasn't tripping. Cause I had chapstick on. But anyways, I was like, people make mistakes. I understand that. But like four different cars in a truck within 10 minutes. I said, oh child, I'm going back in the house. I'm not playing with y'all today because I don't know if I'm a magnet or something, but like I literally was driving. I'm like, luckily I'm a very alert driver. Like I'm very responsive. Like we'll hit the brakes, beep the horn, all of that. Okay. Like now you look stupid. And I'm just, I was sitting there thinking like, God forbid if I wasn't, I would have gotten an accident with my three kids, like my three kids, my two kids and my sister. But I was like, you know what kids? I said, we ain't going to swimming today. Like for me, I'm one of those people that I really do listen to like my intuition and like stuff like that i just be like something bad is gonna happen today let's just go in the house so that's what we did because i wasn't playing with people four times in 10 minutes oh we're out of here i went right back around i came in the house um parked the car up and i was like yep that's enough for me you don't have to worry about me because i ain't gonna be outside in this madness so yeah we came home we walked to the park the kids have fun you guys saw or i don't know if i put a beginning montage but if I didn't put a beginning montage, I'll put the clips right here. I took the kids to the park just to enjoy some outside vibes because it was rather nice this morning. But then it ended up being very, very hot. Um, and they played like in the little water fountain and stuff there. That was not in my plans as well because I didn't know it had a fountain there. But they did that. Um, and then we just came home because it started getting super, super hot. Well, it was hot to me because I wasn't wet like... My, 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 under my boobs is sweating. That's how you know when your boobs is big, okay? And I had a Skims bodysuit on. So it was showing. And I was like, this isn't cute. I gotta go. Here I am being this mom in the park with shorts on and a bodysuit. And they got the nerve to have my, my boobies sweating. They're gonna be like, girl, that's, that's exactly what you get for not dressing like a regular mom. But I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. But I had to come home because I definitely was sweating in the boob area today. And I think it's because I was just, I don't know. I guess my boobs are big. I'm not used to that lifestyle. But yeah, so we came home, um, and that's just what it is. I'm just going to order groceries, take it easy for the rest of the day, because I could not believe that. And you guys know, usually like Monday is like my day out. It's kind of when I run errands and stuff, because I have like a, a big block in between swim classes. Today was Mackenzie's last swim class, um, and I just was like, all right, like right, let's just get it out the way. I don't know. Let me know if I was wrong for that, though, because I'm just one of those people. I was like, oh, like this bet. This is how this is going today. I didn't want to get in a car accident. You know what I'm saying? And like, it, here's the thing. If it was me that was driving crazy, I would have told y'all. Matter of fact, I would have never told y'all this whole entire story. But like, imagine I'm just driving in my lane 
I don't speed. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not driving slow. Like, I'm following all normal driving regulations and rules, uh, laws. And it just happens so many times. And I was like, people are just out of their mind today. And I was like, yeah, no. Like, it wasn't like people were speeding past me. No, people were, like, literally just, like, attracted to this car. And I was like, I got to get out of this car. So, yeah, that's my day so far. Um, I don't know what else is going to be going on today. Because... That was not in my plans. This camera looks really zoomed in. I switched my vlog camera to the other Sony, Sony ZV1. You guys know I have two Sony ZV1s. For no reason. It's not necessary. Um, but I have two. And I started using this one today. And I don't know. It looks closer to me. Uh, but in regards to last week's vlog. I don't know y'all. Y'all nosy as hell. Because anytime there's anything in the title. That alludes to like how I said like single and dating. Or like he bought me roses. All of a sudden, the videos are performing so well. Literally, yesterday's video, today's Monday, yesterday's video went live. It went live late, too. This is the crazy part. It went live at, like, 5.32 p.m. Child, she has, like, let me see. Let me see how many views she has. I don't know. Child, the scammer's always trying to scam me. Like, leave me alone. I don't even have Bank of America. Um, it has 9.6 views, so 9,600 views, right? And the typical is 4.7 to 6.2. Y'all nosy as hell because I'm discussing my relationship status. Um, I mean, I think it's funny. I mean, I don't really care. But it's like when I'm not doing nothing, I'm just being my regular old self. Oh, y'all don't want to watch me. But when I'm, I'm just being transparent and, you know, sharing my life, all of a sudden everybody's tuned in. You know what I'm saying? It's Tuesday. I don't know why. That was the TV. I don't know why I feel the need to say the day as if you guys care what day it is because you guys are not watching it on a day anyways. And also because I put the day in the corner. But anyways, um, so I'm just sitting here ordering groceries because I don't feel like going to the supermarket. So I am going to get $500 worth of groceries delivered to me because something about spending my day in the supermarket just doesn't sit right in my soul. Um, and I get really sidetracked in the supermarket. Like, I feel like I just start grabbing stuff instead of staying on track. And Amazon Fresh has a lot of stuff out of stock. So, order from the regular market. Hopefully, it could come tomorrow. And I'm trying to figure out if I don't want to cook anything for dinner this week. Like, I kind of think I want to make some steak. Like, some steak, uh, some pepper steak or something. Or just a regular steak. I don't really know. I don't know. Usually, I kind of have an idea of what my taste buds are hitting for. But because the dot is on, I don't have an appetite. So, I don't know what I want to cook. But I'm waiting for Enzo to wake up from his nap. He's currently sleeping in his crib. Because once he wakes up, I'm going to take him and Harp to um, Target just to get them out the house. It's nice outside. Get them some air. And then see if we can find some of the last minute things Harper needs for school. Just so that... It doesn't seem like there's so much to do for me because Harper is definitely going back to school in two weeks. So, yeah, I'm just going to go see what Target has, um, take care of that stuff. And then I think that's pretty much all that's on the agenda for today. Enzo. Stop being bad, Enzo. This thing is good, Go Shout out to Wendy. <laughs> we went to Target. I look. I don't know why this camera is so close. Lose. But we went to Target. Uh, it was child a mess. I can't go out with them. Literally, literally. One Harper had to try like some stuff on because Harper is very tall, but she's very slender. Hey. He's very slim. So when it comes to pants and stuff, Harper is a size seven to eight. Like she's a true size. Um, but when it comes to like skirts and stuff. How like a size seven and a size eight were like basically at Harper's knees, like, and I'm talking about like the waist part was at the knees, like they're too big for her. So we were trying on everything, like mediums are too big, um, and stuff like that. So we just had to try everything on, had to figure that situation out. I, and then we just got like the rest of her school supplies. I just was marking everything off on the list. I think she just needs Clorox wipes and tissues, and I think that's it. And headphones. Um, and then we're done. Um, and I have to label everything. So yeah, that's how my Tuesdays go so far. But the reason it was so stressful is because Enzo was just throwing stuff off the cart. I explained it for her. 
He literally, first he was sitting in the cart part and he just doesn't like sitting there. So he climbs out. It doesn't matter how tight, like how taut the seatbelt is. He figures out how to stand up in there. He's climbing on me. He's just throwing things. I put him in a big section of the cart with Harper and he's just getting everything that I put in the cart and throwing it onto the floor. And I just was in there like, have kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Like, I just couldn't focus. And then when it was time to pay, I was just trying to hurry up and get out the store because he was burning me out. Couldn't find my card, so I was in there destroying my bag to find this card. It took me like five minutes, literally right when I was about to quit and walk out the store and say, never mind, forget all of it. All of it. I found a card. So, that's literally how my day is going so far. I'm tired. I need a drink. I think I deserve the drink. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna straighten up in here and get my life together. And uh, I think that's it because right now, baby, I just feel I feel defeated, I feel so burnt out. I'm just we literally were in Target for probably like an hour and a half, and I'm just like, Is this what it's like to have two kids? Because I always had one kid and a baby, but is this what it's like to have two kids? Like, kids. Oh, do not recommend. Oh my gosh. Like, what the heck? Look at that. Can't even talk to y'all. Here he come. And so that is only me and my mom. You're not supposed to be in here. Can I help you, son? Oh, but you're so cute. I can't even be mad at you. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Can you just roll your eyes at me? Yeah. Oh. Say hello. That's so bad, but that's so cute. Give me that. Can you kiss? Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So today I ordered my new glasses from Desi. So first is my favorite glasses. It's so cute. They're not from Desi though. Where's it from? <laughs> Where's it from? Bottega. Bottega. We <laughs> start over. Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So today I have my favorite glasses from Bokeo. <laughs> my favorite glasses. So, I'm gonna let it hard Those use. Those look really cute on you. I'm gonna let it hard use these. Show me the rest. That's <laughs> girl. And it looks so cute. And so get out of my walk. It looks so cute. And I love it. And then that's it all for today. <laughs> go, go shout out to the Desi. Go count. They're not Desi. <laughs> oh my god, the camera's kind of foggy. And y'all know I need it into one battery. And this battery's gonna die. Good morning, guys. Um, so I just am being productive this morning. I'm having one of those days, which is fine, you know. Can't complain. Um, but I really, I really want to go to the mall today. But I'm not going to. I only want to go to Zara. I don't want to go like shopping. I haven't seen anything like a luxury item that I feel like I need in a really long time. Like literally, every time I go to like the shoe department at like Neiman's or Saks or anything, it's all the same shoes that's been there for like the last four years, which is crazy. And then like bag wise, like yeah, I would love a Chanel Classic Flat. Am I paying eighty eight hundred dollars for it though? Hell no, that's ten thousand. That's like a down payment on a house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am an adult, okay? I don't have time for these little things in life that just don't bring me any happiness. And other than that, I just haven't seen anything that I really, 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 really feel like I need in a really, really long time. So, yeah, that's why I haven't like bought anything and i try i always want to buy myself something you guys know i love buying myself stuff but i can't run nothing to buy myself like it's so crazy and like i like buying clothes but i don't wear none of my clothes you guys remember how i bought that 500 hundred dollar christopher esper shirt have i worn it have i even got it tailored yet it's literally just hanging in my closet i bought that 500 hundred dollar celine top i just wore it and i wore it to do absolutely nothing like i just i don't i don't like buying clothes anymore either so I was like, hmm, maybe we should go to Zara because since Stephanie's birthday vacation is going somewhere hot, but her birthday's in December, I was like, I should probably buy stuff while it's summer here. And they start bringing coats and stuff in. And then I'm just like, SOL, and I can't find a daggone thing. Um, but I have groceries get, getting delivered today, so I can't even do that. So I think what today agenda is, I think what's on today's agenda is 
the kids are going to bring back their phone charm business. It had to go on pause for a while because I just was so swamped with like sponsorships and like kind of getting a hang on life, yada, 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 that I just couldn't run their store for them and also do my work. So they kind of had to take a back burner, which they weren't complaining, but now they want to get back to it. So I think I'm going to let them bring that back today because you guys are always asking where this is from, um, this phone charm, and this is from Harper. Um, and you guys always ask about my phone case as well. It's supposed to be marble. I got this from Staples and all the marble and the middle rubbed off. And this phone case was not cheap. It was like 20 to $30. And I usually will never pay that for a case, but I really liked it. And all the marbles. Oh, yeah. shower yet you guys know i usually shower at night time um literally just been doing stuff all day like usually since i work from home i have pretty chill days where i have a couple hours where i do a lot of things not today today i just been non-stop on go and i'm tired i'm really tired actually um i just finished doing the girls first drop of their phone charms today because I set them up a tab on my site just so that people don't have to talk to me or them whoever like because usually it's me and my sister responding in the dms um and like you know going back and forth with one person then you don't end up buying and then you go talk to somebody else like so I set them up a tab on my website to sell their charms or whatever um so that went smoothly so I I just put them in these little baggies and then I just plop the stickers on there with their logo. I don't know. Things will, I listen, I be burnt out, okay? I do too much. So I did that today, that went well. Um, tomorrow I have to take them to buy some more stuff because they ran out of some stuff today, which was I was not planning to doing, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, they did good for today. They set their goal for tomorrow, which is cute, so. Yeah, hopefully now the stuff is on the website. You guys that watch the vlog have a chance to buy stuff. Um, so just go to, I'll have the link down below, but you can also just go to my website, asianarie.com. And then there is a tab that says like a day with harp. You just click that link, that permalink, and it'll take you to a page that sells all their phone charms. Um, but yeah, they sold like 13 today, which is good. So... I just was like trying to figure out the logistics of that because I had set a time in my mind where I wanted to have them live because I had announced it earlier in the day and everybody was like DMing them about it and I was like sure I gotta post them. Um, so I wanted to have them up at like 6, 7 o'clock so people could buy them. So they did good for today though. They definitely met their daily quota which is good. Um, and you guys know all the money that they get from that I split it down the middle and I pay both of them and whatever they decide to do with their money is on them they both like to save money they both hate seeing their bank accounts get low which is the funniest thing um but they're both very sharing and giving with their money as well like they'll take each other the ice cream they'll buy each other stuff they'll feed each other you know like they do stuff like that um, literally i was looking at the views of last week's vlog and i don't know y'all so damn nosy that the vlog in less than a week has the same amount of views that it usually has in almost a month love the numbers but i'm like damn my life ain't that juicy that i could do that every t like every single week you know um maybe this week we'll get a leg reveal a arm reveal no he can't do an arm reveal he has tattoos a leg reveal a sneaker reveal something i don't know um 
But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night because I'm freaking exhausted. My brain has just been all day. So I'm out of here. Enzo rode a boat. Enzo rode a boat. <laughs> hey guys, another day, another day in Sundays. Oh, I turned the air down. Not Gracie, my bad, y'all. Um, today's Thursday. I'm trying to still have the air on because it's hot, but I'm also trying to make sure. But I can't hear the music, so I keep. That should be good. Um, today's Thursday. The kids and I are on our way to Michael's Target, and that's it. I might run into Best Buy. I don't know because who was it on TikTok? I think it was Taylor. Is her name Taylor Hope? I believe so. I believe that's her name. Um, but Taylor had posted like months ago when she had got a new vlog camera And I was like, ooh, what's that? And it was the Sony ZV-E10 So I was intrigued So I went to like do all this research on it And then I was like, maybe I should get it right Not that I need another vlog camera Because there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one But I love just getting like the newest stuff And kind of seeing what works best for like me vlogging And it was unavailable everywhere Including Amazon And then when I started researching why it was unavailable They took it off the market Well they discontinued production Because um, the chip shortage You guys know when like what was it The M1, S1, some I don't know Some chip or whatever When it was a shortage of that During what's going on in the world Because there's been a shortage of everything um, They stopped production of the camera And so what's wrong? They stopped production of the camera So I was like okay cool whatever But then the other day Aaliyah posted it And she told me that she bought it in store at Best Buy And I was like ooh So it's back It's back in the game So I want to see it I was watching YouTube comparison videos Between that one and the one that I vlog with now Which is the Sony ZV-1 And I don't have a problem with this camera Like I think it's a great camera I think the quality is amazing um, It's small Like it's small enough That I could take it everywhere But it still doesn't fit in my little tiny bags But that's okay um, But I was watching the other one the only reason I like the other one is because you could put lenses on it and not that I need to put lenses on it but I think because this one is so zoomed in um, I want to see how the other one looks but the only thing I don't like about that one it is bigger like it has like more of a grip and everything so I don't think that it would be friendly in the sense to pack as a woman in like purses but I don't know I need to like see it in the flesh so I don't know I might go into that's why that's it the matter, son? my hair I um, had a little work day now I'm headed home and while I was having a work day I also was being a mother ordering book bags lunch boxes stuff like that um, you know I was like sitting there thinking I had read this post and it just was like moms really do everything and do you think that anybody ever takes the time out their day to say thank you to said mom no like I want to be a dad dads don't do shit not all dads, but some dads. Like, Enzo's dad is a great dad. But, child, I'm like, between, hey, Cora twin, beep, beep, between trying to work, get my stuff done, get their little business up and going, trying to make sure she's ready for school, ordering everything, getting her school supplies. First of all, let me tell y'all how, let me tell y'all how the book bag that she wanted. First of all, her book bag cost $110. Wait till y'all see it. It's so cute, but oh my gosh, when the book bags for kids become so expensive? Like... 
I don't remember that being a thing. My book bag definitely didn't cost $110 when I was a kid. Uh, but it's cool, you know, the best of the best for young heart. But anyways, so she wanted this one book bag and I felt so bad because she, we had picked it out together. She's like, I really, really like that one. And I went to order it. Sorry, y'all wasn't seeing my face. I went to order it and this sold out. The sold out. Oh, I can't even talk. The lunchbox that was matching it sold out. I felt so bad. And everybody was like, just get her another lunchbox. No. Who the hell wants a miss, mix, ma, miss, miss? <laughs> I'm having a long day, y'all. I've been up since like 7 o'clock this morning. Who the hell wants a set that doesn't match, right? Like, nobody wants like a book bag, this one thing, one print, and then their lunchbox is completely different. Like, that's not cool. It looks it looks under, under thought, you know? It doesn't look like you paid it much attention. And I was like, no, that's unacceptable because you guys know I'm extra as hell. So then... I showed her like alternative matching sets and they were cute but she wasn't really vibing with them so I felt so bad luckily I didn't order them because I just happened to go on the website today and the book bag in the lunchbox she wanted was in stock hallelujah mom of the year award goes to me okay ordered it boom it's done child $160 on just the book bag and lunchbox that's crazy like it's not even like anything like designer I don't know why it costs so much but yeah, you guys know we went to Target yesterday, me and the two kids. That was hectic. It's very hectic when I take the two kids out. Enzo does not be having it. Stephanie's calling me. Please hold. I will chat with you guys when I get home. I'm talking to my friend. Oh, there we go. Mm, mm. breakfast for guy so that's okay mom because i like french toast i like it i like it a lot can you look in your lips you know mama mama Mama, it's coming. I gotta cut your fruit up. Soon will be the day that mommy doesn't have to cut your fruit up. Drop your fork. How are you gonna eat? Say three grapes. Yeah, Got food. Got breakfast. Eating, we gotta go, okay? We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm gonna have a protein shake for breakfast, guys. Good, huh? It's good.
Brush your teeth. Brush, 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 brush. Oh no, don't brush my teeth. I'm going to brush my neck. Brush. Come on, brush. Mm, mm, mm. So brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. You're biting it. On the bed. I wish I may. I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. He's so cute. You need your hair done. Yeah, you ready to go? Okay, the mommy put some clothes on, okay? Alright, guys, we made it up the house. As you guys can see, there's a drone flying on the side of me. Look, y'all. It's literally a drone. Oh, where'd it go? It left. It was like a DJI, D, D. Oh, it's this way. It's a drone flying right there. That's scary. The fence is outside. And it's driving kind of low. Who's driving it? Can I get the footage from my YouTube? I want to know who's driving it. I want a drone so bad. First of all, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to be driving it that low. Like, it literally is at a red light right now, just driving. I want one. All right, the kids and I are on our way to the mall and to Target. I don't know. First of all, why y'all ain't tell me gas was under $4 again? Road trip me. Because when gas was $5, it wasn't happening. I could do three three ninety seven a gallon. It's still high, but it's bearable. But yeah, the kids and I are on our way to the mall. I don't know if we go to the mall first or Target. Target. We go to Target first? Okay, I guess we're gonna go to Target first, make the returns. Um, well, there's nothing really we needed from Target, but why were we, do we need anything from Target? We're just returning the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It be feeling like 10, okay? I have a headache. I have a headache probably because I didn't drink a lot of water today either. But I have a headache and I just feel like I've been outside all day. Guy just woke up. He had a quick little 20 minute nap. But I know he's excited to be home because he was so good today. Like I said, he strolled the whole time at the mall. He didn't cry. He did good at swimming class. Um, and he's just been super chill today. Like he had a heart attack a couple times when it came time to him in a car but other than that he was cool but while we were at the mall i picked up a salad from nordstrom you guys know they have my favorite salad in the world so i picked that up and i'm about to eat that as my dinner i got enzo some pasta but he's probably not hungry because he had a little egg and cheese wrap in the car you want that buttered noodles your favorite your favorite. You love the camera just fell off the dashboard and I know for a fact the footage just didn't save. So basically I just was talking for the last 10 minutes of my life and 
none of it's gonna be there when it's time to edit good morning guys it's tuesday morning it's 10 30 in the morning and me and enzo are arriving at the mall i just came to return a couple things that i bought yesterday um because basically sometimes when you're shopping with your kid kids two kids um it gets very like stressful so and it was like yesterday a lot of people were back to school shopping so it was crowded so like if i see something i like it i just buy it and then i got home i tried everything on i was like i don't want this i don't need this enzo don't need this i could buy this somewhere else yada yada yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i got though in a second um as soon as i park all right let me show you guys what i got yesterday i didn't take nothing at the bags so what stroller should i take today should i take the baby zen or should i take the big one I don't know. It's always the hardest decision in my day what stroller to use. Um, but anyways, so okay, and so sleep. So from Urban Outfitters, um, I picked up two tops, um, and I'm gonna show you. I should have tried it on, or I tried it on yesterday. I tried the top on. I tried the tops on yesterday when I was on the phone with Stephanie. And one I just is a no, and the other one is very cute, but it's not my style. Like I'm a little more classy. It's a little too risque for me, but it's definitely like a really cute top. Um, I picked up some nails. You guys know this brand Chill House is my favorite brand of nails, and it's because like they're not long. Like they're like the perfect like natural length. I got this one. This one has like um like a little pink tip, which is cute for the end of spring. This one has like some green designs which are cute for fall. And then I got these ones, which are like super, super natural with some of the designs. And I like this brand though, just because I feel like if when I go to the nail salon, these are the same exact designs that I asked for. Oh crap. So yeah, I got three of those. I got one of these. This used to be my favorite chapstick ever. It's $8, which I feel like is expensive, but it's also not as expensive as $20 from Laneige. So yeah, but it's super, super similar when it comes to like the feeling it gives your lips like it keeps them really really juicy and glossy and it has like a pink tint to it so it's like it's really really pretty on the lips um it's just not as thick like it's more like a not watery more just like a regular balm i guess but it used to be one of my favorites so i grabbed it um you could order them on amazon as well and then i got this top and hold on i got it in this khaki green because i thought the khaki green was really really pretty but let me see let me see it looks like this super super cute but like it doesn't have a lot of support so when you put it on it just like comes out and like my boobs didn't look great in it that's why i didn't get that but i didn't want to keep this one so i was like that could go back and then i found this top and she's super super cute she has like the tears right here some holes right here um i got this in a size small it fits phenomenal like when i tell you my boobs was sitting in it um but it was sitting so good that like because this whole part is like it's a big see-through too like it's not like a modest see-through um with the cuts they're like all you saw was like my boobs come together and like the crease right here and i know that's the point right but I would never wear it out like I'm too self-conscious for it. it's cute though it's just not my style like I don't think there's nothing wrong with it don't get me wrong it's just not how I like to dress when I'm out like I'm not I'm not confident enough to wear this and like just know that people are staring at me because they can see that I have nice boobs you know what I'm saying so she's gonna go back she was $35 and the green one was $25 um and these nails cost $16 a piece but like I said $16 if you just were to buy one box and it lasts you two weeks it's way cheaper than going to the nail salon you just maintain your cuticles put some cuticle oil boom um and then for Enzo we went to finish line yesterday and I got him these little crocs and they were in impulse by these are like the cocoa puff ones I, these were impulse by because I've never been able to find the crocs in his size and they had these and I was like oh my gosh I'm dying because they're so cute these are a c4 um but I was like he doesn't need cocoa puffs crocs these are also 45 dollars crocs in my size cost 45 dollars so I was like yeah these could go back I found them on sale on essence for 17 dollars in black and gray which is more of my alley these are going back I'm gonna buy two pairs in the regular colors that's why we're back I was in with me but I don't know if I'm gonna film because there's probably nothing to film but yeah let's go come on <laughs> Enzo's knocked out he's so cute should I show you guys Enzo let me show you guys the guy because the guy is the sweetest thing ever and he has on little denim shorts today like I don't know who he thinks he is but oh my stars he's getting too big for me Sorry, guy you ready to get out okay let's go let's go guy 
So lashes are done. Wow, who's the guy? Um, the camera's about to die. I'm trying to decide if I want to take the kids out. Um, it's six o'clock, so I need to feed them some dinner. And I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what's in your mouth. What are you eating? What are you eating? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. What are you eating? Yep. I saw something fly out. Um, oh, you just changed my show. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. Guy wants to vlog. And I'm adding some stuff to my Amazon cart. My cart is at $250. You're going to break my camera. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. What's up, guys? I wanted to show you guys Harper's book bag because it came into the mail today. It's so cute. I'm so excited. Hold on. I'm trying to set the camera up. You guys know. Always trying to find somewhere for the camera to be. She got this for this year's school How? This for what? I don't even know what I just said. She got this book bag this year. So, so, so stinking cute. And then I got the matching lunchbox, of course. Like I said, it's by a brand called State. It is expensive, but love it. And like the inside is insulated. I always put like a napkin and like a utensil in here. This little pocket so you can put a note. Um, and then it has a divider. So you go like this and put like a juice or a water and then lunch over here. Or just not use the divider at all. Just wanted to show you guys that. But I'm gonna clean up because the kids just ate dinner. I just ordered pizza and wings because that's what they wanted. Easy for me, even though it cost me $70. But whatever. I'm gonna clean up down here. We're gonna watch Dominions. And then when they go to bed, I'm gonna watch House of Dragons. So, yeah. Oh, did I show you guys the bomber that I got Enzo today from H&M that I was telling you guys about? Harper! So it's like that with a lot of kids because if so it's not fun do not recommend um i got him this little bomber from h&m how stinking cute is this so cute it's 18 months he's probably not gonna fit it but it's all they had and i figured it would look adorable with like a hoodie underneath or something so yeah but i'm gonna clean up um and then go shower before we watch a movie i'm gonna just make the kids some popcorn lay out some snacks some juice you guys know how i do my little movie spreads if you're new here you're gonna see how i do movie spreads today so let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go i didn't show you guys did you guys meet charlie yet i don't think you guys met charlie yet charlie is my little cousin though it's my uncle's daughter we have kids that are the same age yes i know things happen okay um i was grown i was fresh it's not their fault it's my fault but yeah i'm gonna um get myself together um oh my god kids just make a mess when they eat like oh my stars like how you miss the plate entirely why is there food everywhere else but your plate make it make sense Guys, it's Wednesday. I guess I got to reset everything that I just said. Is that my moisturizer? Oh, it's from when I put my stuff on. You want to say hi? Just say I want to say hi, mom. You don't got to make all this noise. Say what's up. Say what's up, lady. Say, it's your boy, guys. Let me get the wipes. I could clean you off. Goodness gracious. You don't want to yell at me. Where's your wipes at? While I'm talking about baby wipes, let me show you guys the difference of two wipes. And I'm going to tell you why I buy Coterie. Because I know a lot of y'all think Coterie is probably expensive. But let me tell y'all, let me show y'all the difference. Let me show y'all the difference because y'all are going to die. I got y'all on three of these and y'all are still not high enough. Hold on, guy. I'm going to clean you off. Let me get this. This is like the struggle of being a content creator. Like trying to find somewhere to sit y'all. But... 
my solution is about to be solved in two seconds. Okay, so you guys know I use cold read diapers. Um, let me just turn this light on, matter of fact. I bought a new light from Amazon. That's what I was doing before the camera turned off. I was showing y'all what I got from Amazon this week. Not all of my stuff came, but this is what came overnight. Um, I just wish everything could come overnight. Like some of the stuff doesn't even get here until Friday. It's Wednesday. Um, you guys know this thing works really, really good for vlogging. Um, especially the Sony ZV-1 because it could go right on the top in the horseshoe. Is that called a horseshoe thing? I don't know. I also ordered something else to help with this. We're just going to come this week. So once the rest of my setup gets here, I'll show you all that. But see how that just makes a difference? But anyways, so I use code. <laughs> but he's laughing at, at me. I just look at him. <laughs> I think you're bad. Um, so I use Codery diapers and wipes. Oh my god, something just flew in my eye. And I know it might be like a little. What are you talking about? I know it might be probably a little bit more expensive to some people, but I'm gonna show you guys one reason alone why it's worth it. Because they, they, oh my. As soon as I started using this, I was like, it's a no for me. This is a water wipe right here okay look at the size for reference my hands are not big by the way i have very small hands um it's the size of my hand it's not too much wider and this is it how like thick it is okay that it rips let me show y'all coterie this is my mom friends right here because you're gonna be like wow like the wipes alone are freaking worth it i mean i only had two winners i might as well just use the other one this is a coterie wipe this is my hand for size reference right the water just flew my eye because it's so wet. Pause. This Do you see this? It's just stretching, right? But this is so this is the one I just stretched out that did not rip. And first of all, Cody hire me. Oh, let me show y'all a water wipe that's not wet. I mean not ripped for a size comparison. First of all, the thickness alone. I don't know if you guys this is a water wipe and this is a Cody wipe. And I'm gonna put it up side by I wish I could like dye it so you guys could see. The difference if they weren't white, but hold on, let me line them up. So this is the water wipe on top. Look how much extra wipe you get from Coterie. And I know you're probably thinking it's not a big deal. The reason it's a big deal to me is because when I'm like going to wipe ends with poop and stuff, this is never enough wipe for me. My finger ends up getting in like on him, on his butt, in the poop. And like, because it's so thin, this is it if it's balled up. This is the cool to reef it's bought up, right? So it's like you can't compete where you can't compare, babes, okay? Um, this is so I wish you guys could see like how much thicker it is than this nonsense right here. Like I cannot believe cool is not sold in Target. Like, do you see that? You could even tell by looking at it like this one, you could see through a little bit more than this one. Like this is basically a bounty paper towel wet with water, and this is basically Scott paper towel. If you know, you know. I can't use Scott. I feel like I'm wiping the counter with my hands. That's how I feel like this. I feel like I'm wiping his butt with my hands. This feels like I'm taking a washcloth to his butt. These are also 100% plant-based and 99% water, just like water wipes. Get Coterie. Don't act like I never told you anything as a parent. Get Coterie. It's just, you're literally going to be like, wow, all this time I've been wiping my baby's butt with my hand when I could have been using a whole washcloth. Like if he poops, I could use one or two of these and be done. These, it takes me like six. Just to wipe him one time, I got to double up because it's so thin, it's disgusting. Like, but anyways, that's what I wanted to show y'all. I just felt like that's very important to know because I can't believe y'all let me buy the water wipes. Um, so yeah. But anyways, I got an Amazon package this morning, like I was telling you guys. Ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon last night, like $300 worth of stuff. Bunch of stuff for school for Harp. Tech stuff for me. Some stuff I didn't need because, I don't know, I haven't made it. I don't really be on Amazon anymore. Um, but the first thing I got that I already showed y'all are these mask lanyards um, for Harper went to go to school. It comes in like a 12-pack maybe, maybe 15, I don't know, something like that. It has like a little button thing. This kid's going like drive me crazy when he's older. <laughs> to like tighten the back, excuse me. So it goes around your neck. I tried, I had did the whole demonstration of everything with the mask. So then you grab a face mask and you put it like, you obviously can't put it on the bottom loop, but you like use a little clippy clip and clip it around the strap 
near the bottom even though it could slide so like don't stress yourself out about that and then you just do it on the other side it's literally what are these called like little hooks and like that that way you can wear your mask and you don't have to worry about losing it so like when she goes to like recess and lunch and stuff she could just do you know like i don't want my kid to be stressing out about her mask and stuff because she is crazy about it like she's very on top of it um so i just thought these were super super handy for her to kind of keep track of her mask at school and kind of just be stress-free about it i'll also have extra masks for her in her book bag um and they also have them at the school but i just wanted to like help her out you know what i'm saying so she's not in there going crazy if she like puts her mask down at lunch and then like forgets it and stuff like that and then she's like walking around the school for five minutes without one so i just picked these up these were 8.99 thing i got was for me because let me show you guys how i'm filming right now i have my camera on a candle and two canisters just so that we could be eye level so you guys know i use the um sony tripod that goes with this camera even though mine's is dead like you're supposed to be able to use the functions of these buttons like take a photo start recording zoom in and out lock it and stuff but mine dies a lot i don't know why um and i had batteries for it but i don't know where they went so i need to get a new one anyway so i use this one just because it is super handy like if you're vlogging like um if you're going to like disney or something which is why i got this it does come in handy for everyday use though i don't really care about the buttons um but it's nice and i like how sturdy it is but it's just short so you guys know every time i'm home i'm always like i need somewhere to put you guys i need somewhere to put you guys it's because i want you guys to be higher than what this would allow me without making a mess of stacking things so i got this one from amazon it looks like this uh for size comparison basically it's the same size as my tripod with my camera on it so it looks like this um it's not as heavy duty but it's it's nice it's a nice weight to it and basically what this one does is is it extends so that way you have no excuse of not having height you know um i think that's as high as it goes but that's high enough like yeah that's definitely high enough especially like if you were sitting and you were filming like tiktoks and stuff like i think this is good to have because it's a good weight to it it comes with extra little mounts and stuff i don't know what those mounts are i never do but i just need this little twisty one so yeah i picked this up okay you're not even crying for nothing you ain't got no tears not a single tear let me get the blueberries off your hands um, and then the next thing I got from Amazon just today is another one of these things. You guys know, you guys see the difference. It like saves the day when it comes to vlogging just because I'm not always in good lighting, especially like right here. Um, the lights are in front of me far away and in behind me. So it's never super, super bright. But I also noticed with this that it just makes the uh, camera quality look Ooh. even better than it actually is on the Sony ZV-1. So... This is like a must have for me. This is my third one. They don't break easily, but they do break. Um, so yeah, this is my third one. It's like $22, but it definitely is worth it if you're a vlogger to me. Especially if you have the Sony, the Sony ZV-1, because I put it right where the mic cover thing goes. Um, and I have some more tech stuff coming that also will like complete the setup a little bit. But that doesn't get here for the rest of the week. So I'll just be able to like show you as we go. But yeah, I don't know if you guys could like see like the difference like off on off i mean on off on off on you so handsome guy with your little fro what are you crying for what you cry? oh you smell that like cinnamon mm -hmm. oh you like my kisses You like having loving for mommy? Yeah. Oh, you want to lay on me? Oh, my goodness. Say hey, guys. Say hey, guys. Oh, you're so sweet, fat man. You're such the sweetest guy. Yeah, you're the sweetest guy. I was cracking up because y'all always DM me like he's going to think his name is Guy. He probably will. At this point in my life, he's Guy. Uh, yes? Guy? Are you Guy? Is your name Guy? Huh? Is your name Guy?
Thursday, guys. Um, I haven't come on the camera all day. But it's Thursday. It's only 2.40. Oh, look. He's about to start crying just because I ain't talking to him. I'm talking to my else. That ain't him. He's going to cry. Um, it's Thursday, 2.40, though. Me and Enzo just left the mall. We had a little mommy Sunday. I have no idea where my glasses went, but clearly, clearly, um. That's just over and done with. But yeah, Enzo and I had a little mommy and Sunday. Um, I think, <laughs> I don't know, like having two kids is like weird because you gotta like find the balance. And even though he's younger, so he doesn't really know what's going on. But because I've been like so busy getting Harper ready for school and like shopping for her, I felt bad that I haven't done anything for him. And like, not that he cares, right? Because he's only 13 months, like, so he doesn't know the difference. Um, but I was like, I gotta go buy my, my son some stuff and like I get him stuff like everywhere I go but it's always been all about Harper so we had a little date we went to buy my baby to hopefully try to find some jammies they had nothing nothing so that was a dud um I'll show you guys what I got from there when I get home though and then we came to the mall we had a little lunch date at Nordstrom you guys know one thing about me I'm gonna get a salad at Nordstrom I don't know what's in that Caesar dressing, but it's like crack. Um, so yeah, we had a little date. It was a little hectic at first. I'm not gonna lie, before the food came out, I was like, oh my God, why did I do this? I was like, this is the worst decision I ever made in my life. Um, but, sorry, once I um, got him situated with like his fruit and stuff like that, he was fine. I don't know if you guys saw, but I always bring like a silicone bib in my diaper bag and a like placement. Like I have like um, disposable placements. I guess that's what they're called. Oh my God, my eyes burn so bad. But I don't know my glasses went. I know, guy. We're going home. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I guess they're disposable placements. So I always have a whole pack of those in the diaper bag so that I can put them on the table. Um, and that way, I don't have to worry about him, like, touching things with his fingers underneath because I, like, wrap it halfway under to him. Um, and that way, he just eats off of that. Because if you were to give him a... What's the matter? If you were to give him a pl uh, glass plate, he would throw it. What? We're going home. We'd be all right. You got your juice. You got some toys. He was okay. Um, so yeah, so we just had a little lunch day. He had like some butter pasta and I had my salad and it was delightful. Um, and we finished eating at exactly the same time because I'm a quick eater. So it worked out and then we shared a little oatmeal raisin cookie what okay all right all right you's okay guy he hates the car seat now i know let me put the windows down you want to see or you want to put your music on i'll put your music on okay hold on and i'll put it in the back for you um hold on hold on all right so we made it home i'm just gonna show you guys what we got really quickly before the guy because the guy is coming the guy is right here trying to get the bags all ready yeah. leave the zara bag alone don't lick me i have lotion on me. um so from bye bye baby i got him this toy for the bath it like suctions and i guess you pour water in it in the times you like this one don't you guy yeah no leave this one alone hmm. and mommy will put it on the table here. Um, so yeah, he got that for bath time, and then I got him this like snack cup, a sil silicone snack cup by Mushy, so that way I can start giving him like his snacks independently, like in the car and stuff. Then got him this um, like pop it phone from Mushy as well. He likes to act like he's on a phone now, so I don't know, we just picked this up. It probably was like $15 because of the aesthetics, but it's whatever. So yeah, it's just a little pop it phone for him it kept him occupied for a little bit and then i got a grape cutter because i don't know when you're like well why'd you take it off you're so strong i had it stuck you down whoa um i got a grape cutter because you guys know you gotta quarter the grapes for kids because they're a choking hazard um i don't know at what age you stop i guess when all the teeth are there i don't know i'll look into that but I got a grape cutter because I'm tired of cutting grapes and I figured this way like Harper could help me too. So yeah, I gotta wash this as well. You just put a grape in it, press it, boom, it's quartered rather than getting a knife, getting a cutting board, stuff like that. And then I just got him some puffs to go in his snack holder. 
So that's all we got from Bye Bye Baby. That stuff was like $54. Zara, they didn't have anything for me. But that's because I've been to Zara two times this week already. So I don't know why I thought they were going to have new arrivals, but they didn't. So we just got some stuff for Guy. Um, it's all fall clothes. They already have like their fall winter stuff out, which is fine. But I figured, because usually, here's the thing. Usually, I just go and I go spend like $1,000, $2,000 on each kid and get out of the way at one time. And I was like, maybe you wouldn't be so extra or get so much stuff if you just go little by little. So, I just picked up a few things just to kind of get the fall wardrobe going. And then I'll just continue to place purchases. Um, so, I got him like these little mauve sweatpants. These are super, super cute. These were $17.90. Enzo is in the Zara bag, but they have like um, texture on them. And then I got him the like lighter mauve sweatshirt, which is cute, and it has like pockets like this. He looks really good in color. So I got that. I got this in nine to twelve months, and I got this sweatsuit in nine to twelve months because he's small. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. Excuse you. We had a mommy and son date. Why you didn't pay for our date, huh? Why you didn't pay for our lunch, guy? What's the matter with you? So, yeah, I got him this little sweatsuit. And I got him this Mickey Mouse sweatsuit for our Disney trip. You guys know I took Harp every single year. And the last time we went to Disney, I was pregnant with Enzo. But nobody knew. Um, so that vlog from Disney World, that was I think it was like November, um, I was pregnant with Enzo. The only person I knew, though, was Khalil. I literally found out like three days before we even went. And I was like... <gasps> What am I going to do? How am I going to hide this? One, I was bloated. Like, my pants barely were fitting when I was in Disney. And I was nauseous. Um, so, yeah, I plan to take the kids this fall, winter, which is when I usually like to go. That way we can get our annual photo with my newest edition. So, I got him this little sweatshirt. Because, like, with the Disney stuff, it's better to just buy it while they have it. Because you never know. Like, sometimes it just disappears. So, super, super cute. It just has Mickey on it. And then I got the matching sweatpants which are adorable so when you go in like november ish um it's like hot during the day but like cold at night so you kind of have to be mindful of like buying summer and fall stuff to be there especially if you're going to be in the park to like midnight and stuff um and then i got him this little neon sweatshirt he always looks so good in neon colors so i just picked this up for him so he could wear that with like some gray sweatpants or something and then i got this little two-piece set this was in the girl section but i obviously unisex because of the way that the hem is right here so it's like a little hoodie and then it has the tights he always looks so cute in like these little sets so i got him this and then i got him this knit hoodie as well because this is like more lightweight so that way when it starts getting cold or like chilly in a couple weeks he could just wear that um especially because like since we'll be taking harper to school in the mornings i know it'll be cold so yeah so i got from zara this was 154 dollars worth of stuff i know i didn't even get anything but i'm about to sit here and order him some jammies from um target i really like the cloud island stuff but they don't ever have his size in store so i'm just gonna order it online really quickly and then i'm gonna um i have three minutes left on the memory card I don't remember the last time I deleted this memory card. It's 256 gigabytes on it. Um, hey guys, good morning, happy Friday. Um, I think it's 11 now, but this morning, first of all, me and Enzo slept in, which is not like it's here he comes. He hears me talking, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Um, me and Enzo woke up late, but. <laughs> it's for me, not you. You just stole my phone. <laughs> to meet Harper's teacher they did a meet and greet so we did that this morning and I'm mad leave me alone I'm talking to my friend they don't want to talk to you they don't mess with you And Enzo is napping. Thank goodness, y'all. He be burning me out. I swear. When that bedtime rolls around and that nap time, go to sleep right now. So, um, don't ask me why I'm sitting in the dark. 
only thing that's saving us right now is the light on top of the camera. I don't need a light, thank you, heart. But I got some packages in the mail. I think these are the, this is the rest of the stuff I got from Amazon. So I figured we'd do an unboxing. I'm starving, I didn't eat yet. It's 1.14. I was gonna go outside and like run some errands, but you guys know, I try to run my errands earlier in the day and I feel like it's too late now. But yeah, before, like I was saying, before Enzo was like yelling and stuff, we went to Harper's meet and greet so she can be her teacher and stuff for third grade. So yeah, let's just get into the packages. That's all we did this morning. And now we're just hanging out. I'm watching High Heat. I'm on episode 29 and I think there's like 10 episodes left. So yeah, what the heck is this? Oh, they're the socks. <laughs> The Harper School socks. Okay, cool. You guys don't care about that. I had to order her like socks, and panties, undershirts, stuff like that. But what's in this box? I swear. Harper was like, oh my god, how many packages do you have coming today? Because like Amazon's been here, FedEx, UPS. Girl, we're shopping, okay? Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? I think this is something that TikTok made me buy. That I need it? Probably not. But TikTok made me buy it. I swear. I just been like getting my life back on track. Um, and also have been shopping for vacation. I'm not going on vacation anytime soon. But for Stephanie's birthday vacation, I've been trying to shop for that. So that way when the time comes, I'm not like panicking trying to find stuff. Um, so, oh, this is a tripod. I didn't need this. But I got it because it was on sale. It's originally like 32 and it was on sale for 18 so I just bought it. But it's like a new tripod for when I take photos, even though I don't really take photos anymore. I swear, I just like, I like lose the um, patience for like Instagram sometimes. But it's super, super sturdy. It's compact, like it'll fit it in a carry-on suitcase and she's cute because she already has this piece connected to her whereas like all the ones i have i have to always like manually buy the piece so then it just pops open and there's that and there's a bluetooth button attached i don't use bluetooth buttons anymore um i use the app lens buddy that just takes pictures for you really really quickly rather than rely on the button but it's cute that she comes with and that there's somewhere for her to go because the ones that i did used to have it was like up to me to not lose them, you know? Um, but yeah, so this just this just a tripod, like it's nothing. Oh, that turns this. It's nothing like miraculous. How do you get it to expand even more? I feel like I'm always so confused with tripods and I don't oh it just pulls. And I think it's like really, really tall because the girl that I saw posted, she said she was like five eight and it was like the same height as her. I'm five four. Um, so I felt like that was a good size and it was on sale. So yeah, super, super cute, super compact. It has a little bit of weight to it. Not like too much that it will be heavy, but enough that it'll stay sturdy. And then this turns as well for you to pop your phone in. These, okay. I think this is for Enzo. Sometimes I just have weeks where all I do is stop. And then sometimes I have weeks where... I don't buy a daggone thing. I'm actually missing something. Don't play with me, Amazon. I will curse y'all out because that was the one thing that I was super, super excited for. And here y'all go playing with me. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Disregard. Disregard. Um, be real hype, real salty. But, like, why would they put it in the corner? This is for my vlog camera. I'm basically, I'm going to show you guys what it does. So if you have the Sony ZV-1, I wish I had my other one to show you guys, but whatever. If you have the Sony ZV-1, you guys know there's one like uh, mount thing on the top, which is where the mic thing goes. It looks like this. It's so ugly. It looks like literally a rat. Um, but they have this thing on Amazon, which basically, first of all, this one's way prettier and softer for one. Um, you guys know this is like to catch the wind so that you don't hear all the sh sounding. Um, but I don't really vlog outside. Whatever. So it has a hook right here. So you put this in the hook on the top. But the way that this one is made. You guys see the difference? By the light. By the light. Um, basically what it does is it slides the light on here too. Because even though there's only one mount on it. I can't even see because this light is so bright. Oh my god. There's only one mount 
on the camera but this makes it so that you use that one mount but still get the mic cover and can put a light on there so it would be like this and now I have the mic cover and my light on there and I don't have to pick and choose because usually like if I was going out I would like carry the light for when I need the light and then carry the little wind thing whatever this thing is called for when I need that and I always lose these two like I have one but I have two vlog cameras it makes no sense um so that's really really smart love that for me and then the last thing I got from Amazon is this thing from um hip hop it's probably the last thing I should have ever bought him you guys know it's still like the little t -t 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 thing when it pops um so we'll see how he feels about this when he wakes up but let me show you guys what I got from Essence today even though it's not exciting but please hold let me get the box so i got the kids some crocs because they were on sale so i was like i'd rather pay for the price of one but get two you know you know catch my drift so i got harp a pair of these dark gray ones i try to like switch up the colors they get so she's had white she's had black she's had pink and stuff like that so i got her charcoal gray <laughs> and then i got the beer so i got the guys up are you dying look how little they are they are so stinking tiny and cute Good morning vlog it is saturday morning yeah saturday morning well actually it's 12 21 right now i was gonna vlog early this morning but child when i tell y'all the morning that i had shambles but the kids and i just left swim class we're on our way to target because i need to get um harper some snacks for school stuff that she needs for lunches i want to see if they have like a bento box and stuff i go to target for that type of stuff just because target always has like the better variety packs and then i'm gonna go to the market like later in the week um i'm targeted out this is my last target trip this week i ain't got no more target trips in me um i gotta get gas because the gas light just came on all right hey guys it's <laughs> it's 8 40 at night and up past his bedtime um i didn't end up going out it's whatever um <laughs> guys here i didn't end up going out so i'm just gonna call it a night i just have some stuff to order like on amazon for harp um, i'm gonna order some groceries so yeah i will see you guys next week this week was probably boring but you know life doesn't always go as planned but that's fine um yeah guy it's them why you always want to take the camera they don't want to see your rose Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Say bye. Say bye. Say see you next week.